What up? You know what it is? Your boy DJ Infamous. Talk to me, and I got my co-host, my partner, Wolf of Reed Street, back at it. Episode five. Here we go. Yes, we're episode five. Smoke with me podcast, baby. We here live and direct. You know what I'm saying? Um, my brother, what's good? Everything good with you? Everything straight, man. You know, uh, I'm juiced for this episode, man. This is gonna be a uh, history in the making on this one. Believe that. You know, we got our first our first guest of the Smoke With Me podcast show. It's an honor, you know what I'm saying, to have this brother on our show, you know what I'm saying? And it's special because this is episode five, and this is the first guest that we've ever had. All our other episodes have been just, you know what I'm saying, me and the Wolf of Weed Street. I know y'all tired of looking at our faces, so we had to bring a <laughs> class had to bring somebody else on here. For yeah, the, uh, most definitely. So listen, so what we had to do is, you know what I'm saying, um, I go back about, probably about a good 15 years with this brother, you know what I'm saying? He's done some amazing things in the city of Atlanta, um, you know, from um, entertainment, nightlife, and now cannabis, and he's in the business heavy. And I'm gonna tell you, his company and his strands is some of the most powerful. You know, what I'm saying strands out here, and it's black owned. Claps for that. <laughs> Claps for that. Claps for that. Huh? What'd you say, Jen? Uh, you know I mean, I had to, I had to let that be known. You know, what I'm saying we gotta, um. You know, we got to acknowledge our kings out here that's heavy in this cannabis space. With none other further ado, the CEO and founder of Gas House. Make some noise for Felix Murray in the building. Talk to me, Felix. What's happening? What's up, Infamous? What's, what's up, up, baby? What's up, Hussein? What's up, brother? Everything good, guys. Everything good. Yes, yes. Listen, man, we are in the... You know, we're not, at, we're not at our headquarters today. You know what I'm saying? We're not at the Smoke With Me headquarters. We are especially at the Gas House headquarters. You know what I'm saying? When I tell you this headquarters is amazing, like, I don't want to leave. I've been here about a good hour. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got uh, smoke toy guns and stuff. Y'all got uh, pre-rolls everywhere. Y'all got everything in this thing. Claps for that. Claps for that. Y'all got everything in here. Y'all got the couches. You know what I'm saying? To make you not want to leave this motherfucker. What's up? Felix, what's good, baby? We got the munchies over there, too. You know? <laughs> and we, we got the munchies. We get all the cakes, you know, and stuff. We got the honey buns, you know, we got it all. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, before we start the um the show, my brother, this is what we do every time. Um, Before we start the show, one, we must acknowledge uh, Hardeen. Shout out to Hardeen. That's one of our sponsors, you know what I'm saying? Episode brought to you by Hardeen. You see me in the hat. You see the logo on the screen. You know what I'm saying? Shout to Hardeen. Listen, when you go to Hardeen in Las Vegas, stop by the store, the dispensary, ask for the infamous pack. They'll know exactly what you're talking about. All right? Shout to Hardeen. Shout out to Hardeen. Shout out to Bud Tender. Shout yes. out to everybody in Vegas. Yeah, as soon as you as soon as you touch down in Vegas, go straight there. You know what I'm saying? But um, Felix, before we go on with the show, one thing that we do before we even start any kind of conversation is I want you to smoke with me. Let's go. So, Felix, we in your warehouse today. You know what I'm saying? We're at the Gas House headquarters. You know, what, what am I smoking? What am, what am I about to spark? That is Pluto. That's this is Pluto right here? Pluto. Pluto. We're smoking on this Pluto. Yeah, privilege to smoke on okay. that Pluto, yeah. now, Felix, you got to smoke with me too, that's baby. That's our flagship right You got to light up. Hey, you got to smoke with me. I got this baby Pluto over here. Oh, we're going to say that. We're going to oh, say that what? for later. I got one. Got one coming? All right. Yeah. But before we get into that, before we get into that, I just want to, you know, roll out the red carpet for this brother. You know, um... I've been in the industry a long time. I want to, uh, you know, definitely put a, a spotlight on his company. Mm -hmm. Him and Kingston have created um, a uh, one of the, I believe is going to be a legacy brand in cannabis. You know, they definitely have put the work in. Believe that. They're a grassroots the company. Um, they're from the culture. You know, and again, it's just a pleasure to uh, have you on the show. I know you don't do many podcasts. So uh, we just wanted to say thank you for even coming on and um, giving us a chance to, you know, give the people what they want. Believe that. Yo, this Pluto is fire. I like that. Okay. We got, we got spark it up. Smoke with me. On that Pluto today. Mm -hmm. On that Pluto, babe. Mm. Yeah, we're going to space, man. You know what I mean? Alienated, babe. Alien. Yeah, tell Alien. me about this Pluto, man. Well, this Pluto is, uh, I would say it's a flagship strain for us. Mm -hmm. um, we dropped it in, I want to say 2019, 20. Okay. Um, I'll tell you how it came to me. You know, we always go to Emerald Cup. And normally when we're in Emerald Cup and NorCal, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of the uh, breeders or what have you, you know, they bring their, they bring their, you know, their finders and stuff to the cup or what have you. Right. And so, uh, you know, guys, you know, they bring a lot of f finished flower. Everybody always trying to find the next one, you know. 
bringing us samples and stuff to our booth. I check them out. <coughs> and so uh, a friend of mine um, named Ryan, um, one of his friends, uh, Casey was at the event. Me and Kingston was at the booth. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we had a long line of guys, you know, it's when like all of the 41 was real popular and stuff right. like that and all the biscotti and everybody had a biscotti this and biscotti that or whatever. Remember that. And so they brought, a, they brought us one bud and I smelled it and I let Kingston smell it. And I was like, damn, we kind of went to the side. And so I stepped to the side of this guy and I was just like talking to him. And I was just like, you know, I like the profile on it, what have you, you know, so I didn't smoke it. I just kind of tucked it. I was like, in my mind, I was like, this is the one. So uh, when we got back uh, to the to the bay, to the house the next day, I had a clear head, so I wanted to smoke it. I didn't want to be under the influence of nothing. Right. Just so I could see how it was. And so uh, I smoked it. And uh, I mean, the rest is history. I smoked it. I was just like, this is it. This is it. This is, uh, this is, this is a special find. Um, it was just, it was just one seed out of a bag of seeds that was bred. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was different. It was the profile. It was just, it, we knew it was it. And so, uh, that kind of was the birth of it. That was the birth of it. I can tell. Kingston, he felt the same way and he was just like, bro, this is it, you know? So, yeah. 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 I, I mean, I, I can already, uh. <laughs> I can already feel like I'm gonna have to pace myself with this one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she's special. So you know, I got she a got question about the yeah. Pluto. Um, yeah. You know, um, did was that was Pluto created for uh, Future at all? Was that supposed to be a collab with Future? Uh, no, no, it wasn't. Uh, okay. um, we've always that's like one of our things when we really high, we always use that term that yeah. we on Pluto. Okay. Okay. You know, so uh, when we smoked this, we were really high. Okay. <laughs> and it <laughs> laid us down for hours. And, and, you know, a lot of people got me full, you know, smoking it. And, you know, you ended up on the couch. Right. And so it just came up, just like, okay, we're going to Pluto. Right, right. And so that's where we're going to take you. Facts. You know, they're the best of both worlds. You know, the gas, the flavor that we like or what have you. And so uh, she kind of did her thing and turned into... Almost a brand of our own, right? You know, just Ooh, organically, you know. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Now, now, I, I want to address something. Um, like a lot of people know you for, you know, your gas house and you being in the cannabis industry, but you was also very influential with the music and nightlife scene here in Atlanta. I mean, for years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, if yeah. I, if I'm not if I'm correct, you started with Dreams, correct? Yeah. Dreams like Dreams, right? yeah. Right so for those who don't baby. know. That's he's, on my body. he's the owner. Hand clap the, for dreams, man. I had, a, dreams. I had a bunch of good nights in dreams, Listen, man. Dreams nightclub. If dreams. you've ever been to Dreams nightclub in Atlanta, this is the owner right here, Felix Murray. Let me tell you something, Felix. What made you want to? <coughs> now, first, let me say this. Okay. First, I want to say, uh, shout to you because one, every time I DJ there, all my checks were good and on time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> clap for that. That's right. Uh, two, I never had any issues getting in. I never had any issues getting my drinks. No. You know what I'm saying? The only issues I had is when uh, Teflon was trying, DJ Teflon trying to smoke me out before my set. But, you know, that's when I had baby lungs. You know, I'm with him now. So, you know, I can hang with him now. But that was before, you know, I got into the cannabis business real yeah. heavy. But I just want to say I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, in, in, in Atlanta, man, you know, uh, DJs and the, uh, the DJ booths and getting paid on time right. and, you know, even getting your name on a fly is right. a heavy thing around here. So, right. you know, I can I honestly say that You've done that, you know right. what I'm saying, and it was I've ne I never had any issues. I never heard anything bad or ill will on your name yeah, in this city, that. as far as the entertainment uh, club nightlife. So I just want to give you your props for that. Thank you, man. you know, because uh, I don't know if anybody yeah, nightlife is tough, man. That nightlife, nightlife ain't tough. easy. No, you know what I'm saying? Easy. It's not easy. So right. what made you want to start Dreams Nightclub? What made you uh, want to get into that? Well, I just tell the story. Most people don't know it. My first club, uh, I was 21, 22 years old in Mississippi, called the Sea Zone. So Hold on, what part of Mississippi? That was in a place called Cary, Mississippi. Probably it was really a juke joint. Oh, and I, I would say, how far is it, that from Jackson? Maybe hour twenty minutes. It was. It wasn't even as big as this room. Really, plywood floors or what have you. You know, and uh, okay, you know that was back in ninety four. Right, and so, so you uh, had your own club at twenty one. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juke I just, joint. just, just, just didn't drop out the sky. So yeah. You know, I did that for a couple of years. That was before I moved to Atlanta. It was right after I finished college. And then I came to Atlanta and uh, 
You went to an HBCU? Yep, I went to Alcorn State. Shout out to Alcorn State. Shout yeah. out to Alcorn yeah. State. Yeah. I went to Alabama and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alcorn State graduated in 1993, business administration. Nice. Uh, you know, that, that's, that's, that's the home, that's the reservation from there, what happened. Y'all hear that? What, you got a degree in what? Business administration. Business administration, man. Starting to make yeah. sense now. You feel Starting me? to make sense. Yeah, yeah. There we go. A lot of people don't know that either, so you know. Right, right. Like, Educated black man, let's get it. You know, a little bit of both. You know, you put a little street with a little business, you know, that's, that's a cold mix. Facts. So, you know, so yeah, um, came to Atlanta, kind of got in the concert business, but not here. Uh, what I was doing, I was doing concerts just around the globe. I was going to Puerto Rico. Uh, I was doing some things at Roberto Clemente Coliseum mm -hmm. with uh, Medalla Light beer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that was back when, I guess, Jock was on, when Pitbull was still rapping. Right. Fat Joe, what have you. Um, I was in the reggae town, you know, Tego, Tego Calderon, E.B. Queen. So you had your it's hands in all of, this, right? Yeah, 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 just all that was going on. Right. And so uh, the only thing was, when I did these concerts, I would only get ticket money. And so I wouldn't, I wouldn't get any of the concessions. Money. Right. And so uh, I just kind of, I was like, dang, the concessions making a lot of money out of the people that I'm driving to this venue or what uh -huh. have you. And so after doing that for a while, I said, I need some of this bar money. I had to figure it out. And so that's when I started looking for buildings here in Atlanta. And I came up on Dreams. It was just this big building. It used to be a movie theater, I think. You it know, sure did, yeah. Yeah, back in the day. And this is a big hollow space. And uh, when I walked in there, I just kind of felt the space. And that was a time when Atlanta, when everybody had money. And that was well, a time. What year is this? It was 2006. Oh, yeah, yeah. When it was the city gone. was booming back then. It was booming. <laughs> and the money was good. That's when, you know, everybody was buying sections. And, yeah. you know, from 3,000 to 10,000, you know, it seemed like a dream then. You know what Max. I mean? And that's why I called it Dreams. And so. Uh, that's why you named the Dreams. Yeah. I mean, that's, it was. Let's it was that. And, it, and, it was, and it was my dream, you know, even in high school to own, you know, a mega club. And so. Uh, you know, we built a team, you know, we built, you know, I put a team together from scratch. Right. Everybody was good at what they did. People thought the building was too big, that it wasn't gonna make it. But you uh, know, that was a time when mega clubs was kind of still yeah, the thing, was, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. back was, then- uh, Compound was popping back then. It was located then. in a weird space. Right, right. It was just like everybody was partying, you know, in a certain area, yeah. and we went outside that area. Right. Yeah. So you had That's to make true. a drive to come to our club. Yeah, you, you did. Right, you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were just like, how are you going to get people to come here to this this venue every weekend and put, you know, 1,500, right. 2,000 people in this building every, every weekend, weekend, Friday and Saturday? And uh, most people didn't believe it, that it was going to happen. Right. But I believed and my team believed and stuff. And so we built it, and uh, we went in there and, you know, we made it a place for, I would say, uh, artists, yeah. established and begin beginning artists Facts. to come in a platform. This is our stage. This was our Apollo of the South. Yeah. I'll take that. I'll say that I stand on that too, because every artist in this city until 2019 came on my stage, through my stage. Yeah. Every artist. Yeah. Yeah. Future. It claps. Yeah. Migos. 21. Yeah. Gucci. Rick Ross, mm -hmm. keep going. It just, little it just, baby. it just, little baby. It just, it, it goes. Floyd back. Mayweather, Floyd when, he was Mayweather. Throwing, when, when the Make It Rain era, like in the yes. middle of the, no, the, the beginning of, of it, the beginning of it. I did the first real Floyd Mayweather party at Dreams, yeah. and we drove him in the middle of the club in a Phantom <laughs> into the middle of the dance floor. You go look that up on, on, on YouTube now. Yeah. At Dreams. We're going to repost so it. That We're just repost was, it. It, just, it just went crazy. It had a life of its own. It had a life of its, I own, remember life it. of its own. And that's when, I guess, Mario was out. And then Chris Brown just, just had started his career. Yeah. And it just was. I remember when know, Chris yeah, came to Yeah, the yeah. It just, it just, we've had everybody touch the stage pretty much. And uh, it just, it gave people a start. You know, a lot of people started their careers there. Yeah, you and know? you had a run too, man. Like, you know what I mean, run. It was a nice run because you, know you guys run. went from dreams, then you remodeled it went into to Mansion Elon. Yep, and, and that, to remodel, that remodel was that remodel. Now crazy. listen, that, that remodel, remodel was crazy. Sick. I remember when Teflon brought me through there just to see. He was like, "Yo, Infamous, you got to see the DJ booth." Shout out Teflon, man. Shout yeah. out to Teflon. Shout out to Shout Shout Teflon. Brother. I came Shout in there, walked in with the remodel. The sections are bigger. 
Yeah. The 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 uh the bar in the middle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's crazy. Man, what? Yeah. Like so let me ask you what, 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 what why, why why remodel it? Like what like you, you got dreams going so good, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's performing, it's packed out. You got multiple nights during the week. Yeah. And then you will shut it down. Well, well I need I needed to put more sections. I need to put more money in there. You know what I mean? I need to build those sections <laughs> out and build it up and I kind of make that thing like a Coliseum. Yeah, you had the ones up, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was, it was about the money. I was yeah. just like, man, let's put sections everywhere. And then, you know, and then I had the big dance floor yeah. around you know, around the bar. So it was cool. And our, our motto was you know, to treat everybody like a star. Right. It wasn't about the VIP. It, you the, know what? In the that, in the, the VIP wouldn't be there if it wasn't for people to look at Max. it. You know, so I always cared about the people just on the floor, the regular people that's coming through. Yeah. Those people come and they come every weekend. You know what I mean? Every so weekend. that's, I always cared about that. You know what I mean? I and, still do so. And yeah. Felix section was always smoky. Yeah, smoking. It was I'm always you, lit. Felix, was. Yo, Felix, I used to see you, G, you used to be in your section kicking it. Yeah. Bro, as you yeah. should. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm that, that's when I used to go hard in my younger days. Yeah, you know, yo. owner and promoter. And, <laughs> you know, that was that was my younger day. I used to really go. Right, I used to really go. All right, so yeah. then, so then going forward, we got Mansion Elon, and then even Mansion Elon has a run. Yes, at Mansion Main Run. Elon had a good run. Main Run. So let me ask. So let me ask you. We're in the club, Mansion Elon, and then where does while we, while you're doing the club stuff, where does the I want to get into the cannabis? Space. Well, well, how I, I, does that even start to even enter your mind? I always been a cannabis advocate. <clears throat> you can ask the guys, even in college, they used to make fun of me because I used to always tell them that one day you're gonna be able to go to the store and buy cannabis like you can alcohol. Mm -hmm. And uh, they thought I was crazy and stuff. And you know, I was smoky back then as well. And uh, I started seeing the industry when legalization happened in, in Denver, in Colorado. I was watching it and see what was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, you know, we just kind of always been in the background. Just, you know, even nightclub, I just always loved cannabis. It wasn't even about money or selling it or nothing like that. Right. Um, it was about the plant. It was about the plant. Yeah. It was about what it did for me and other people or what have you, you know what I mean? So um, it was the passion there first because at first when, uh, you know, we playing around with, you know, breeding and genetics and stuff. Right. Um, if I would remember, I would have brought my calendar from 2003 or let's start at the Let's start at the beginning. What, what originally got you into cultivation and farming originally? What, what really got you into that lane of cannabis? Actually, it was a brother that was, uh, I guess he was about 65 years old. I used to buy my cannabis from him mm -hmm. for like a year maybe, and then one day he... Uh, he called me young blood. I don't even know if he knew my number. I used to call him an old man. <laughs> I don't know if he knew my name. Right. And he's just like, young blood, young blood. why don't you grow this stuff yourself? And so my face wrinkled up. And I was like, what you mean? And he was, uh, he said, I want to show you something. And so uh, he put me in his vehicle and we went on a ride. And he pulled over and he told me, he said, uh, when you're in the back seat, it's kind of, Weird, I was just like, okay. And uh, he put a blanket over me. Mm. And I could feel we was, took a couple of turns. And I could just kind of feel we stopped at the gate, went through the, I was like, I could tell. And then when he told me to get up, we was in the garage. And I went in the house. And uh, you know, the house was just regular and stuff or whatever upstairs. And then I went downstairs and it was a, uh, Oasis and my mind was blown. Right. Yeah. And I had never. Yeah, that never, thing blown out down there. Huh? Yeah, it was blown out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that just really piqued my interest. I was just like, you know, he's growing this stuff. You know what I mean? Right. And so that just, that piqued my interest. And so I just, I started just doing all the research I could. You know, it wasn't, wasn't internet, wasn't, wasn't it back then. So, you know, but they did have, I think, disc and, I was watching stuff from Amsterdam, reading a bunch of books by Ed Rosenthal and stuff like that. I still have those books and what have you. And I just started educating myself and on the science the part. I did right. the research I wanted to know. And I just started to share information with him and what have you. And it just kind of, I just started playing around with it. You know? That's dark. That's dope. So you went and got the knowledge yeah. first. Yeah. Which a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, probably don't take the time to do. You yeah. Know, it takes time to, you know, a lot of reading and a lot of, 
research to get all that knowledge. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You took the time to do that. Yeah, it just it was it was just something I was interested in. Mm. I wanted to know, you know what I mean, you know, I wanted to understand the plant, you know what I mean? So yeah. Nice. So um, you know, fast forward now, Gas House is, you know, like I said, gonna be a it's gonna end up being a, a legacy company here. In, in the California market, mm-hmm. you know, what made you in Kingston and, 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 and bring me back to the beginning, bring me back well, to, me take what, back to the what, beginning. What so let me, let me tell you how, let me tell you how it went down. So right. the way it went down, good friend of mine from Mississippi, mm-hmm. knew me, knew Kingston. Uh, Kingston had been, you know, coming to my club for years, right? but you know, he, you know, he low key, he Kingston. Yeah, right. And so, uh, my friend gave me something and he gave me some, I was like, Smoked that shit and it fucked me up. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Like, just stunned me. I asked him where he got it from. He told me, you know, he got it, you know, yeah. he got it local. I was just like, he told me, he was like, it was a, a brother grew this. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't believe that. Mm. And uh, I was like, you got to take me to this brother. Yeah, take me to it. You know what I mean? And so uh, he took me to, he, he, he took me to meet, he took us to meet. And uh, when we met, we were very uh, like, I guess you know he's the standing off it anyway, right? And so, but when we started to talk, and then he realized, you know, he, you know, he a real grower, so he realized I knew the lingo. It was things that were said, and he was just like, "Oh, he for real." And I was like, "Oh, he for real." Right. There's certain things that you know, just like if you're in medicine and you're a doctor, or whatever you talking about the body, start you know, you gotta know some. something about it. Yeah, and it's on. And yeah. I was just like, "Oh, he, this is he the real <laughs> deal." And so at that point, it's just like, okay. You can't talk to people about this type of stuff, and he, you know, and we just, it just the love, and he was just like, damn, this, this is real. I couldn't believe, you know, right? He was here, and, and it just, yeah, the energy was energy great. Was it was great. It was great. It was great. And it felt right. It, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and it felt right. You know right. What I mean? And so, uh, so what made you come up with the gas house? Name? I know, I know that's that's well, I know the people. Okay, know so that. we 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 we've sitting at my table. I just I got a table at my house. I will never get rid of them. I don't care if it fall apart or whatever. You know, that's my <laughs> it's a billion table, dollar table. <laughs> Uh, me, Kingston, DJ Teflon, we were sitting around the table trying to come up with the name and we were just thinking of descriptive terms, what represent the South, yeah. you know, and then I, we played with a couple of names and then I think maybe it came up with, you know, we started playing with gas because gas represents the South. We feel right. like we coined that term. Everybody I always say it. Gas, right? I always say the, I always say the gas. gas, you know, came from down South. You know, buzzing the bag, what that, that smell like, that smell like that gas. You know, everybody, it's that gas right there, Charlotte, you know what I mean? Right. Whatever, whatever. So it was like, let's figure out how to incorporate gas. And so we came up with a few variations. Then it was like house of gas. And then we were just sitting there and just like, nah, not, not house of gas, it's gas house. And then it just, boom, that's it. We all were just like, that's it. Let's rock it. Yeah. Let's so run you, it. You heard let's it go. first year. Let's see if it's available. Stamps. First thing, we were just like, damn, the name available. And I've had people say to me back then, I can't believe that name was available. Hold on, hold on. See, that's another thing. Available. That's another thing. Hold on, slow it down. That's another mm-hmm. thing you guys need to learn. When he looked up his name, the name they created, he went to see if somebody had the trademark to see yep. if it was registered. Yep. yep. Please listen to this man. Yep. Mm-hmm. Listen to us. Yep. Protect your intellectual that. property. End of your business. Please. Yep. There's another yeah. thing I want y'all to remember that he just said. Thanks. And you can get in the comments, you know, uh, uh, hit the button to like, hit the like button to follow. Is he is the term gas was created down here in the South? You can get in the comments. You can argue Max. with me. You can do whatever you want to do. You Talk know where I'm me. at. You know I'm outside all all the time. <laughs> yep. That's so dope. um, you know, protect your intellectual property. I don't want to cut you off. I just well, wanted to sure. let, let the crowd fact. get that's that man because you're dropping jewels yeah. and they might not yeah, all catch them. Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. them to catch them. Yeah, I want yeah. them to catch them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely available. Secretary of State trademarked it. You know, all this, you got to do it right. Um, so we locked that down and it was available. And so uh, we started, we knew what Gas House was and was going to be. Um, I had to convince Kingston to, hey bro, you gotta come to Oregon. We gotta go, we gotta prove I said we gotta do this Oregon, get ready to go recreational, man. Right. Um, and so what we did was uh, we started branding, you know, because we, we clothe and merchandise too. That's right. what we do, we, right. we, we move that, you know, that's, that's our thing too. So right. we started branding and we, me being in the nightclub business, you know, I know everybody. So, you know, hey, let's start here at the home well, team. Yeah, and, relationships, and we right. Start, we started branding in the city and we started creating it and then people started seeing this word gas house and it was kind of like, it looked cool. 
We don't know what that is, what but is damn, it's it? right. dope people wearing it. Right. Like that's like everybody got it on. They pull up, security got it on at the club, you know, over here, or you in a strip club, somebody got it on. Dope market. They seeing it, you know what I mean? Like, man, yeah. what the fuck is this? But you know, people, you know, you want you want to belong to things. You can exactly. see as a movement. So it's two it's two things I want you guys to pick up on that he said in the conversation so far is that he he did the research to protect his intellectual property in his name. And then the second thing he mentioned was branding, was how he started to brand Gas House to bring brand awareness and to uh, uh, bring notoriety to his brand. Now, now you said you first, uh, you went to Oregon. I, I wanted to ask you about the cultivation style that you and Kingston did in Oregon. Well, so bringing Kingston from, you know, he's an indoor grower. So he had never grown outside. And so now you got to take all these elements in that, he was able to control indoor, you know, that. Now Were you guys he, full sun outdoor, light depth, or okay, greenhouses? So, so when we went, the first year we was medical, mm -hmm. we was full sun. Okay. Okay. Um, and, and then the next year is when we went recreational, when we built our greenhouses. Okay. We had the greenhouses. All right. And so Kingston had to learn, which, you know, this guy is a, you know, he's not just a girl. No, <laughs> you know, sure. this guy is like highly intelligent guys. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. he was able to adapt. And um, I mean, the first crop was boom. Right. Was like, okay, this we was rocking. It was in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, second crop, like I said, we got recreational license. We applied for that. We got our cultivation license, gas out farm. That's when you switched to greenhouses. Yeah, that's when yeah. we switched to greenhouses. So, so it's another thing I want to point out too. So you know. I, I got a commitment, and I want everybody who, who follows the show to get in the comments. You know, we do have a commitment um, from um, Kingston to get on the show. Um, you know, I know everybody wants to learn about cultivation. I know they want to learn, you know, some of his secret sauce. Right. I, I know, you know, the man said he's gonna give up a little. He's gonna give up a little something. He ain't gonna give up the secret sauce. But you know, um, this show is about education. This show is about you know um, helping. Uh, you know, everybody wants to get into this space and, and give them some of the, some good information. And why not then have one of the top growers in the industry right now have Kingston on the show? So get in the comments. Most definitely. Uh, follow us, subscribe. You know, put some topics in there that you want to ask him on the show. So, you know, when he comes on, we kind of got a little flow of what you guys want to hear from him. And I also got to get the highest DJ in the motherfucking planet oh, on Oh, yeah, Tef. We got to get Tef on here, too. Yes, sir. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know too many DJs that can uh, smoke back the black joints, back-to-back -back joints, and just keep DJing the whole party. I mean, I can now. It took me a minute, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie. Yo, Teflon used to come in the booth. I'd be like, yo, Tef, not now, bro. Like, let me finish this set, my nigga. <laughs> like, I'm like, it's prime time. He's, and he just passed. I'm like, yo, Tef, man, you, you gonna pack me out, bro? I'm about to figure, I'm about to figure, every, rotation, I'm about to figure huh? every record I'm about to play, Tef. He be like, oh, man, my bad, yo, my bad, yo. You know, shout out to my brother Teflon, man. I love that boy. Yeah, Tef, for real, we, boy. For real, for real. For real. I'm talking on real. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? We got also we got our Teflon cases too. Yo, show the show the case, Haas. You go to Teflon case. There we go. Man, he did. And we, got the, and we got the Pluto. Okay. Pluto case. You feel right? me? I'm still waiting on yeah. my Pluto case. Uh, I'm still me? waiting on mine. Yeah. So yo, so man, Felix, man, tell me about these products we got on this table, man. What we got up here? Well, we got up here. We have. Uh, I'm still smoking the Pluto. I, I, I told you I had to pace myself with this, right? This our <laughs> this our CB line, CBD hemp line. Um, matter of fact. This is our hemp smokes right here. Mm -hmm. It's granated Pluto hemp smokes. And this is our Pluto hemp smokes. Um, these, they look like cigarettes or what have you, but they right. are infused uh, Delta 9 THC. Mm. Um, they give you, a, I say, a sexy feeling, uh, um, some mild or high or what have you. Um, it's a legal product from hemp. Um, and this is a product that we distribute throughout the country, mm -hmm. uh, through smoke shops, um, all over, all over, all over. And so yeah, we'll, we'll list the website so you can uh, order the products uh, online and, and get the information from um, GasHouseCBD.com. That's our website. You can find all these products, uh, edibles, syrups, uh, nice. uh, vapes. Uh, I like the pre-roll. Uh, yeah. uh, show them that pre-roll. Yeah, oh, that granddaddy Pluto. Oh, yeah, this, that this the one I like right here. Yeah, Yo, this, this that's this, my favorite right there. Yeah, Woo! This is uh this is one of our products and uh very delicious. Makes you feel really sexy. Uh we're gonna be distributing this product and works good on anxiety too. If you got yeah, anxiety, yeah, definitely, works really good on definitely, anxiety. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You also got nice. the uh the hoodie. When is the hoodie dropping? The hoodie is dropping uh it's on the first actually. So um okay. it's dropping April first. Hit the website for yeah, that too. Definitely.
definitely jazzhouse.com on that. So definitely. So let, let's take take me back to Oregon, man. So you we're, we're we're in Oregon. You guys go from full sun to the greenhouses. Um that product comes out amazing. Um and then where do we where do we go from there? Well that Oregon the whole time I got my eye on California. Mm -hmm. So Oregon was just like As you a, should. It was a learning with the learning curve. Okay, let's see, let's understand how metric work, which is the system that uh I would say that cannabis regulates cannabis is like the input everything, you know, from the weight, how many plants, what strain where you tracks get, all uh, the cannabis, tracks, all the sales tracks, go through through metrics. Tracks everything. So we understood that before we even went into uh California. And so right. what happened, uh Kingston was still in Oregon. I took off and went to California right before wreck. Um I had been in Cali anyway. For a few years, I, I had a resident out there. And so um, we started just traveling, going to all the shows. Week in, week out. That's when it was still medical. That's when it was just it was like these cannabis markets. That was the good old days, Prop, right. Proposition 215. So um, we were just on the circuit. And, you know, we were doing the competitions and what have you. And we were building the brand and people were getting familiar with it. And uh, we built our following that way. So you guys won, um, you know, the people don't know, so you got to tell them, you know, it ain't, it ain't bragging, man. Mm -hmm. What, uh, what awards did, uh, did you guys win? Well, our first one, uh, we entered, tell it now. So we entered our product from Oregon and in, into California right. to, uh, Dabathon was the first one. And, uh, those were the first trophies that we won. We won, uh, first, uh, best indica and highest testing concentrate. So we got two first place trophies. I'll tell you about that. That was back nice. during the day. I think me and Kingston and, uh, and Cookie Monster. Rest in I peace, Cookie. I miss him so much, man. You know what I mean? Rest in like, peace, Cookie. I miss him so much, man. And, uh, you know, it's very few brothers, you know, that was even at the events back then. And so we were working the booth, and they always had these award shows. And me and Kingston, we didn't even go to the award show because I don't know, you know, like, it seemed like the same people always was winning awards back then. So, right. You know, when the same people always winning awards, you kind of just think like, it's bias. You or think something it's like, bias yeah. or what have you. And so um, the guy, George, that did T Dabathon, he wasn't on that. George was just like, this was going to make me different. That was his motto. And so I told Kingston before um, before the event, I mean, I hit, I was like, listen, if if they if they do this fair, we're going to win this. I told him that. Mm -hmm. he remember, what I did you him, enter? What was the flower? It was, it, was ga, it was Gas House OG. That OG. was what it was back then. We, nice. OG Kings, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we entered the Gas House OG. We didn't even go to the award ceremony because we was just like, why are we going to waste our time? Right. And so uh, we were just doing our thing in the booth, and we looked up, and we saw Chris Crazy. That is a friend of mine, you know, is in the business. You know, he's a— you know, he's always hosting cannabis events, you know, great host Shout and stuff. Chris. And so Chris was coming and Chris had these trophies and uh, we were looking. I was just like, he was just, people were just whispering at this point. And then uh, he got right up on it. He's just like, man, he's y'all's, bro. Y'all weren't there. I had to accept on you guys' behalf. And, wow. You know, we were stunned. And wow. that was just a moment I'll never forget. <clears throat> it was, uh, you know, it probably was one of our biggest Moments our first time winning and we won two. Right. <clears throat> and I'll never forget that they they tested um they tested our product a second time. <laughs> and, and that's how high the product tested. And me and Kingston, that's how high the THC level was. Me and, Kingston, <laughs> me and Kingston still have both those tests. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. You remember what it and, came in at? Yeah. And and um Back then, the flower test is at 28 yeah. something and concentrate. Which was high, back, was high, high back I can't then. remember the concentrate, was, it was high too or what have you. Right. And so that was the start. And that's when people were just like, oh, okay, these dudes are growing fire. All right. Like, okay, they serious. They mean business and stuff or what have you. And that started. And the gas house OG just, you know, it started it all. You know what I mean? It started all. It did. Gas house. So, let, so tell the people, like, where all, you know what I'm saying? Where all of your products at? As, as far as right now? Um, right now, we are in California. Uh, we're in Las Vegas on the strip there. Uh, we're in Michigan. Nice. Um, we're in Colorado. Um, we'll be in Florida. Y'all in Detroit? We're in Detroit. Nice. Um, Shout we'll, out to Detroit. Yeah, we'll be in Florida um, probably, I guess, May or June. Okay. Those are just our TAC products. Uh, our CBD products are all over the country, so we're, in, we're everywhere with the CBD, but. 
Yeah, we're in about six or seven states so far. Nice. Congratulations, man. Yeah, congratulations, congratulations. Man, bro. Congratulations. Real talk. That's that's heavy. So, so you know, um, we get a lot of people on the show come in the comments talking about, um, and, and I'm glad you brought up the OG because a lot of these youngsters ain't, ain't didn't really get to smoke that They're OG. Of it. Dang. Like, like, like y'all scared had of the OG. Yep. Y'all scared of the you know OG. What I mean? that y'all don't want to be high boy. for real. It's a heavy, yeah. it's a heavy start indica. shit. OG's a heavy y'all indica. Don't, y'all don't want to be high for real. Y'all want, y'all want now <laughs> ladies and shit. Speak you on know it. what I'm saying? Speak you don't on want it. that good gas. Y'all Speak scared of y'all want to be high for real. Okay. All right. Y'all want to be <laughs> kind of high. Kind of high. <laughs> Speak on it. So look. Y'all want to be high ish. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. That's right. All this weed right now is is it's all purple. Yeah, everything's yeah. purple. Everything hey man, is candy. The, 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 the youngsters are miseducated. They they it's at a point now that speak on it, speak on if it. it's purple is good. If it's green is not. Look look guys, it has nothing to do with how good or bad cannabis is. It's nothing. It's all about genetics. I can turn any weed purple if I want. Yeah. Any grower can. Tell These em. tricks that we can do, since that's what y'all want, turn that shit purple. We can make, it's, it's things that we can do. We can control purple the environment. Max. Purple you know match turns add, purple. We can add things to it. You know, there's other things that we can do. Um, that, that's not worth my integrity. You know what I mean? Right. If, 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 it's a, if it's a genetic that's supposed to be purple, it's, it's good. Green, Sometimes, purple, right. if it's good, it's, it's good. good. Right, it, right. It, it has nothing to do with either way. You know, I'll blow your doors off with some green weed right now. Facts. You know, so yeah. Like the youngsters just, I don't, I they, don't They missed it. that whole OG way. Yeah, they, 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 they weren't there for it. They missed it. And you know, it, it's, 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 it's funny to me that, you know, people only think that good weed can be purple. Right. 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 You know? Right. So right. I hear that a lot and that's not necessarily not, that's, true. That's not true. It's not, not true at all. Nah. You know what I mean, you know, it's, it's it could be great if it's green. It could be all if it's green. The same same applies for you know for, for being purple. Hey, you know, right, right. So, if my man Felix, you've been you know doing everything in entertainment. You're doing your thing in uh, cannabis. Now we have this event called the session on yep. 420. Yes. Tell me about that because I'm gonna tell you when I first before I seen the new it was fly the first flyer y'all posted. I was like, oh, this is going down in Atlanta. Yeah. If it, oh, oh, word, gas house is what we doing? That's what we doing, man. Yo, tell me people about that, bro. So tell them. The, the session is, uh, that's going to be an outdoor outdoor event. Right. Um, it's really, man, just, I look at it as more like a spring festival, man. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's going to consist of a lot of moving parts, you know. It's hold on, hold on. Be, what made you want to do it? Because we need our own. You know, yeah. I'm always going to California and what have you. Know, so, you know, uh, Facts, facts. What type of vendors do you have coming to the event? I got everything. I got uh, everything from, I would say, a lot of merchandise, clothing type vendors. Right. Um, I have um, hemp, CBD uh, vendors. I have a veterans organization coming. Um, I have- hey, by, the, by the way, I've seen some of the, uh, the gas house uh, indoor hemp, man, and um, – I got to tell y'all, man, it looked better than some of y'all packs out there, man. Uh, that's a fact. It looked better than some of y'all packs. That's man. a fact. That's that, that's a fact. It, it, it does. Hand clap. Hand clap. <laughs> hand clap. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, no disrespect to y'all packs, man, but right. at hemp, you know, it's, it's yeah. looking better than some of yeah. y'all packs, bro. Yeah. And it's going to be a celebration. You know, it's going to be a celebration. You know, food, uh, you know, we're going to bring smoke, of course. Uh, we're going to have Carlos Miller there. Um, you know, hosting or what have you. Right. It's gonna be a fun event, man. We're gonna play some cool games. We're gonna listen to some cool music. Uh, you know, DJ. You know, infamous. I'm gonna have to. You got. You got to spin, bro. We'll figure that out later. Let's on. Do, it. Let's do it. You know, and it's gonna be. You know, yeah. 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 yeah it, it, it's us, man. We even got. And we even got a, a, a masseuse. Some famous masseuse booked the booked the table. It's just like man, it's just yeah, man. It's wow. like. Yeah, I know, I know the response when y'all first posted that flyer was crazy, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Hannah told me, like, I had text Hannah. She was like, yo, when we first yeah. dropped it, the, the response was. It, that was just. It was a lot, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm not mad about it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's going to nah, be That was a dope fun. idea, man. That, that, that's going to be, be it's gonna be a beautiful be event. You know, you know what? Event. Before we go any further, let's take a smoke break. Yeah, let's take a smoke break. Yes, brought to you yeah, by the Teflon case. Teflon case. Pluto me. Pluto me. 
I'm, baby I'm, Pluto, me, man. I I heard it might be a sight in the baby Pluto on the scene today. I heard it might be. I heard it might be. I heard that too, bro. Don't lay it down. Yeah, well, if you got another one over there. I, I, hey, so, I, I killed um, mine. Hey, hand him one of them Delta 8s. Or one of these? Someone one of these? Yeah. yeah. Try one of them smokes. You try one of these. Yeah. Let me see. So, um, you know. Yo, and I ain't gonna front your packaging is dope as hell, too. Yeah, for sure. Hey, man. Because hey, I, yo, listen, like, like, like you said, man, you have integrity. You know what I'm saying? You like the, 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 the marketing on your products and your brand yeah. is dope. I ain't gonna it's front a, uh, It's a lot of work going in. You know, we have a very small team. Uh, me, Kingston, Teflon, uh, come up with these designs and stuff, or dope. they'll start in my, you know, in my head, and, um, you know, I'll just talk, 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 and, yeah, we create everything. You know, we hadn't started like outsourcing, and, and you know, we deal with you know, everything's in house. Yeah, everything is in house. Man, that's dope. That's how it should be. Yeah. So, so look, man. So, you know, me being from the Bay and um, really seeing y'all movement, and um, you know, um, you know, seeing the movement here in the A, I always found it real interesting that um, you had real heavy connections in the Bay, and um, you know, uh, a relationship with Burner, and um, you know. Can you kind of speak on that and on how yeah. you kind of like, you know, you know, because um, I always speak, you know, they, they think I'm biased about the Bay, but I want to hear your opinion <laughs> on, on, you know, your experience in the Bay and the love you got from the from the Yay area. And I, you know, the term Bay TL is real to me. Bay TL. You know what I mean? And the Bay ain't never showed me nothing but love. And they uh, accepted me, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> when I'm there, I'm as comfortable there as I am here in Atlanta. That's, that's home. And, uh, you know, we, you know, I met Byrne. I mean, it's going on. I got to add the years up now, but <laughs> it's been a lot of them. Right. And, um, you know, I, I met Byrne originally through um, one of my closest friends, you know, ever uh, through Phil. Um, Byrne was first starting his rapping career. So I met him when he was still working at, uh, oh, wow, when he was still a that's, bud tender that's... way back. Well, that was so way you saw about them when he was rapping with yeah, Messi Marvin the, and the, the back the in them yeah, days. Yeah, going back to the Hemp Center and all yeah. that stuff, you know, when he was there. So, uh, we became friends, and so uh, way back then, so I, I saw everything develop, and uh, remain friends ever since. You know, even though we do some business together, whatever, it was, we we friends before right. anything. You know, Burn, you know, Ray, all of us. You know, we've been knowing each other a long time, a long time. Yeah, you know, Jigga, Shabinsky, um, we all friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I just sit down and grow with Shabinsky back in the day. Like when I say we all friends and we were just all trying to make it, like right. all friends, you know what I mean? We all still talk. You know, a lot of some people know that, some people don't. Right, 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 right. You know, yeah. yeah I mean, y'all just... smoking the genetics and stuff that, you know, these guys bred. I was a part of that. You know, we helped to spread this thing across the world. You know what I mean? So, yeah, all this stuff got some of the genetics in it. So, yeah, yo, this Delta Eight. Hand so claps for that. that. Hand claps for that, man. Delta eight is a, lot of, a lot of people can, can be from the Bay Area and can't even get in them circles, man. Big, big yeah. props for that, man. Yeah. Yeah, big props just, for that. Yeah. So, you know, fucking with this right something here. I know that, you know, the other the, the people watching the show might not know is that, um you know, through your connections in the Bay, you know, you, you kind of like, um you know, at, at, w at one point in time, you was like Phil Jackson, man. You had a dream team uh, yeah. all in one building, man. You, you, you kind of had the powerhouses of, uh, of, um, of Bay Area Cannabis. Yeah, yeah. Golden State Banana. You want to speak on that for a minute? Shout out yeah. Golden State Banana. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, we all started in the same, um, same distro. You know, uh, I guess I was the glue, and uh, we was building our dream team. And yeah, it was, you know, Gas House, Golden State Banana, uh, Runts, uh, Big Al's. Um, shout out Runts. Shout out Big Al's. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Turf Preservation on the concentrates. Uh, Sticky Fields had to fire as outdoor. I mean, we just, it, it, it was it was a dream team that we had. And, uh, you know, I guess I get emotional talking about that. But, yeah, it, it started out, it was it was real good. We all still friends and stuff. But, mm -hmm. you know, if you don't have the right person, I guess, uh, um, somebody can wreck your car. I put it like that. Right. And one person can wreck your car. You know, yeah. Somebody can wreck your car. And the car got wrecked a little 
little bit. Shit, that I mean? that have been a, that's a big market share. All them brands together, it's man. Y'all, yeah, and everybody y'all been split. Uh, yeah. moving your weight around with, with, yeah. with that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, you was there for the beginning of uh, a, a lot of shit, man. Yeah, beginning of runs probably then too, huh? Yeah, yeah. I was around when runs was started, you know, and um, you know, got Ray and LB and what have you. And um, when I started Gas House, they was right there with me, helping me. Uh, Build a brand, you know, right there. Right. And uh, they started runs. I was right there when they was, you know, building out their older brother. You know what I mean? Right. So that's dope. Everybody yeah. helping each other, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I had navigated, you know, some of the spaces, and so you know, yeah, we, you know, everybody was just helping each other, helping each other just build brands and stuff. So yeah, yeah. Dope. Yeah. And for the listeners that don't really know, um, I mean, you're talking about a couple brands that you know, you know, are, are you know heavily uh, uh, influenced the market, have influenced the market since then, continue to, and, and are doing numbers. So, yeah. you know, to, to the people out here listening, man, you know, it is possible to start your brand and, and, and come from the ground up and, um, you know, shake shit up. Exactly. Yeah. So what's the future for Gas House, man? Like, what's the man, what's, we, we what's spread, the future man. goals that you can speak on? Everywhere our license or everywhere that, um, ushers in, you know, recreational or medical marijuana, we trying to be there. Nice. You know, we want to be like Coca-Cola. You know, Coke is everywhere, bro. I want to be, you know, I want to be in your nightclub. <laughs> yeah, I want to be right. in the corner store. You know what I mean? I want to be in the hotel right beside the corner store. Yeah. You know, like, I want to be everywhere. You know? Hold on, and you still own a nightclub? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still you own life. Yeah, I own life. I just, quiet. Yes. Yeah, still own life. Right downtown Atlanta. Shout yeah, out yeah. life, man. Shout yeah, I ain't been there yet. Yeah, you gotta come check us out. Felix, you got life, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Longevity, bro. How is it? How, how is it at life, man? How, how is it like you ha- having it down there at that location? I love downtown. Yeah, I, I love being, you know, Peach Tree right there, uh, the hotels, the Sheridan, and uh, you know, the Hilton and the yeah. Marriott. So we feed you know, all the out of towners. Huh? Yeah, people walking and stuff, right? You know, it's just lively downtown. I, yeah. I love downtown. And it's organic. It, it, it is very much. Yeah. yeah, and you got uh y'all chefs in there dope as hell too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a, got a, got a cool chef, you know what I mean. So yeah, yeah. we are doing food now. Yeah, um, you know people come and eat, you know, have a good time, and you know we opened it up and brought a lot of light in and put those garage doors in and stuff and what have you. So right, right. People like to just come sit downtown and have a drink and stuff like. Just that. have a vibe. Yeah, I'm always have a spot, bro. I just like. Always, man. You know, I'd be an old dude. <laughs> Gotta have your club. Man, you roll, roll me in the back of that junk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just, you know, I like to, uh, you know, have when people come and I like to, uh, I like to do the family thing. You know, I want you to come and mm. have a drink with me. Most definitely. Spot, you know, and be safe and that type of stuff. So, yeah. We can smoke in there? Yeah, you know, I do it. Man. <laughs> you know, I smoke in <laughs> And so, smoke, um, I got into a few uh, tongue wrestling matches uh, on a, uh, on the on the page about uh, genetics from the Bay Area. Okay. Um, what they uh, saying? I oh, mean, you have to read the comments, man. <laughs> what they say? Genetics from the Bay Area are superior. I mean, you know, they they. <laughs> that's, you that's, know, is that what they said? We had we had a clip up that said, "I believe the best cannabis comes from the Bay Area." And I second that. Thank you. And I, you know, ain't nothing to argue about that. I'm standing on that. You know uh-huh. what I mean? So, can you speak on that a little bit for the, uh, for the listeners and for the 30. subscribers? I mean, I, that's what the world is spoken. I mean, you know, it's, it's already been made. It's already said. I mean, it's Northern California. They've been, you know, doing this thing a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a it. lot of knowledge down there. There's a lot of, lot of know-how. They've been going hard. They've been breeding. They've been growing. It's like, you know, that's going, we're going all the way back to the 70s and stuff. Like, yeah. come on. It's like, it's, it's, you can't, there's no conversation to be had that the, the best genetics come from that region. You yeah. know what I mean? That, that's, that's just it. That's yeah. just how it is. Yeah. Right? I ain't going to friends it's different yeah. out that way. It's, it's, Completely different. Yeah, because you know? I mean, because because tell the people is like the temperature it's, everything. That's what I'm saying is the, because of the way it's, it's grown, yeah. right? I mean, it's just it's where you know Northern California is located. You know what I mean? It's it's everything. It's perfect climate. All of that. You know what I mean? It's like you can't beat it. Believe it. So um, we we get a lot of uh, people that um you know have a lot of questions about just entering the industry and and trying to take their business to the next level. So, you know, as a black man in the cannabis industry, what do you think has been the, the biggest issue or one of the biggest problems you've come against? I guess the biggest problem is 
or like one of the biggest obstacles you've had entering the I, industry? I would say, you know, you, you can't do, there's no, I would say standard banking. So you got to figure out how you're going to fund, you know, your business first. You know what I mean? So right. you got to be prepared to do that. And uh, you need to understand you just can't go to a bank and get a loan. So, um, you know, you want to scale your business. And so you have to have a plan in order to scale your business. And so that is like one of the biggest thing I would say is having access to capital. And, you know, that's 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 one of those things, man. You know, you're trying, you're in California, you want to grow outside of California, how are you going to do it? Right. You know, and, and you know, like you want to partner up. So you got to, if you want to do that, you got to be careful with, you know, doing that. And sometimes you have to do that and you have to choose a partner to get to the next level, but, you know, just make sure it's the right partner that fits you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, I always tell uh, Kingston the art of the deal. And so I've said it so much to him. He, you know, he said it back to me all the time now, the art <laughs> of the deal, bro. And so, right. you know, we hadn't, you know, we hadn't did any of those yet. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So just capital, I would say. And, uh, you know, you're dealing with a lot of states now that don't allow. You know, one thing I love about California Infamous What's that? is that they allow, man, if you want to get into the cannabis business, man, you can get into the cannabis business. You can go and get your license. You don't have to have a, a million dollars or a hundred thousand for an application that, you know, if you don't get water, a license and stuff. They didn't they didn't do that. They didn't man. do that. No, nah, they didn't do it, you know, and people complain about this and that, but no, nah, you can Because I heard that was a big complaint, is like the fees and the and the, the licenses and, and all that stuff like that. The the big complaint is the tax situation. I, I would say, yeah, yeah, that that's the biggest thing. That's the that is uh a hump that uh hadn't been gotten over yet. So uh, being taxed, you know, you go and you buy something for, just say you pay $50 for it and you tax that, just say 30%, well, really it's higher than that. You $65, $70 out the door. And so at first it was a lot of people mad at the cannabis companies thinking that we were overcharging. We were just like, no, right. we're not overcharging. We're not getting that money. Right. That money's going to the state. That's yeah. That money's the, going the, to the, the city. Yeah, and the local tax, boy. That money ain't going. They yeah. taxing us to death. You know, it's not like you think. You know what I mean? California's so, yeah. at 25% right yeah, now. Yeah, it's just, and it's, 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 it's crazy. Lot. So they in your pocket. So the state and city, that's your business partner, but they eat first. Right. Okay? Yeah. So that's your business partner, but they eat first, and if something left for you, cool. If not, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? But they going to eat regardless. They most definitely so going to eat. First. Yeah. Crazy. 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 So, yeah, man. Um, oh, one more thing. I want another thing I wanted to ask you, too. One more. Two thumbs up. Oh, okay. Uh, one more thing I wanted to ask you, too, man. When, um, when it comes to your brand like are you okay so you know how like certain companies like like have like extensions of their brand like how like like cookies first and then i think runs broke off of them and stuff like that is that is that something you you think you're going to end up doing like making your brand gas house so big and then having like other sub brands yeah sub branches uh, up yeah, under? yeah yes that is something that we are uh we working on right now yeah um we definitely been approached Quite a bit, you know, but like I said, we care for by the way we move and stuff like that. But yes, we're definitely going to uh, develop in a house of brands is how I refer to it. Right. I mean, in Gas House being a parent parent company, um, we are in some deals and talks right now. So, yeah. Nice. Nice. Sure. Not, not, I ain't going to lie, man. You know, I, I need some of this baby Pluto, man. Hey, man, I got the baby Pluto, man. She is going to. Uh, Listen, this baby Pluto, look. This thing so intense. Might need, intense. Might need another smoke break. Yeah. This, this, tell, this, them, this. tell them about that baby Pluto well, for a minute. Tell when, them when, about when, that new when, drop. Tell them about that new drop. When, when the wizard say something. Now, this is the wizard talking. This ain't Felix talking right here. <laughs> the wizard. This, this is the wizard. This shit here going to change the world. You know what I mean? Like, you never smoked anything like this, bro. Yeah. You understand me, like? Hey man, no cap, is, no cap. Look, man. This is, this is uh, no cap. I let him dry hey, hit it. No cap. I dry. I took the dry hit. It, it's, so, it's a whole nother world. It's yeah, a, it's, a, it's a whole nother world. I, I ain't got no problem giving nobody their flowers. You know what I yeah. mean? And, and that's yeah. a, I think that's that's really an issue in this cannabis industry yeah. too. Is that yeah. uh, is that is, is that, that. Uh, you know people can't you know give other brands their flowers? Yeah, right. you know what I mean. I I got a lot of respect for y'all. Most you definitely. I, mean? I I think that um, together, um, you know, uh, you can achieve a lot more. And and it's collaboration over competition with me. And I think that, um, you know, if, if a lot of other brands, you know, thought like that, it would be a lot more 
things happening for the people. I mean, that's really who the flowers yes. for, man. That's true. The flowers for the people to try, you know. Yeah, we have these exotic, crazy strains, but we want everybody to be able to have access yeah, absolutely. to it. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Everybody to be able to enjoy it. Facts. You know, but that baby Pluto, I'm, I'm stamping it already now. I'm and stamping it. And I ain't it. even smoked it. I only took a dry hit. Hold on, what I smoked was Pluto, right? Yeah. I didn't smoke Pluto. baby Pluto yet. I smoked the baby Pluto. Hold on, so the- yeah, I, I want to smoke this toy. Hold on, the baby job, Pluto, so the baby Pluto so was bad. better than what I just smoked, the Pluto? I mean, Pluto God started damn. all. She, you know, I'm she, stuck. she, she, she is I'm the, stuck. she, That's she, she is the mother. Yeah. She, she birthed <laughs> the baby. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. Yeah. She, she yeah. started. You gotta understand, Pluto ain't even come off the yard. Look, what y'all don't get. Let me say this. Speak, Speak on, on it. it. Speak the on reason it. Y'all, the, re- the reason y'all can't get Pluto everywhere, it ain't come off our yard yet. Mm. You understand me, man? It ain't come off the yard. We Ooh. not. It's not in every grow, every mega grow. It's in the same spot that we had it from day one. Claps. You understand? And that's why you don't see it everywhere. Facts. All right? She's special. We treat her like that. You know what I mean? Ooh. And so when we drop her, that's why them lines be out there, and that's why it go in two days. You see what I'm saying? Dropping a jewel in two on days. her. Two she, days. She, she's special, man. Don't, don't let everybody no, get a hold to yeah, your genetics. She, yeah, and she'll never be just like super, super a uh, mass produced. That thing is... Yeah, she is. Uh, Talk your shit. She, she, she is that. Rock you know? the baby. What's that? What's that? Rock that, that, that baby. Like, like, that, like that, that, that bottle, of, that bottle of whiskey that been on top of my refrigerator. That, that Louis, <laughs> yeah. that Louis the Thirteenth shit, or that brand, whatever ain't never yeah. open. <laughs> she, she, she that. That Pappy Van Winkle. I love me. She is that. That's crazy. Yeah, and that's good. Now, nah, man, listen, man. Shout out to Baby Pluto, and she ain't even dropped. Pluto. It ain't even dropped yet. It ain't even dropped. Shout out to baby Pluto. And, and this thing meant to be smoked. Like it ain't, it's not meant to be like just, it's, it's a smoke like with your friends, man. Like it, it's, it's, yeah, it's like. like Yo, that. Felix, you be on the wax too? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is, uh, oh, this is our gas house piece. I forgot this thing was over here. Yeah, Darby Holmes blew this piece, custom piece for us. That's dope. And yeah, it's I do fire. concentrates and stuff like that. And uh, that piece is, is, is famous and the guy that did it, uh, he is like he's an artist, and he's been doing this thing probably twenty five years now, yeah. blowing glass and stuff. And it was yeah. an honor to have him do that uh, for me and Kingston that piece. So yeah, I had to fall back from the concentrates, man. I didn't uh, passed out trying to do that shit one time. Yeah, yeah, I used to do it every day, and then I started to miss the flower, and then I smoked the flower like I was dabbing. That, a lot. That's why I don't do it too much because yeah. I, I I like to keep my tolerance yeah. with the flower. Yeah, 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 tolerance, you, know you know. But then I missed it. There's some things that I get out of the flower that I don't get out of the dab. And Which so you prefer better? I like the smoke. I like the flower. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, you know, I just I like I like the flower. I like to get intimate with it, break it down and stuff. I might have my little process or what have you. So right, right, right. Yeah. right. So, so let me ask you this, Felix. So, um. I see you. I, I like the the strategy with with the Pluto and the baby Pluto, right? Mm-hmm. So, how do you feel about these brands that drop uh, a strand, er, er, thirty strands in in thirty days, man? Well, I feel like you know it, it's it's a lot of what I call remixing going on. You know yeah. what I mean, it's a lot of gelato being sold in runs, and you know it's just a lot of strain being put. Same strain being put in multiple uh, mylar packaging and stuff mylar, like that. Mylar finesse. It's the mile off in this game, you know what I mean? So uh, there's a lot of that going on. There's a lot of gelato going on right now. And it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of, I would say, uh, mixed light being sold for indoor. Um, yeah, them boys just, done got good with that mixed light. You got to know the know, guys. They, they got mean, good with just, that mixed light. You got to know, yeah, they got, they got <laughs> really them, good. And, Jim, and, 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 and nothing, you know. Jim wants to know what's mixed light. I mean, light. They, 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 they look just what Jim wants to know. I mean, mixed light is 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 out is a, a, a greenhouse grow, but what they're doing now is they they have these really expensive, almost like million dollar, um, light assisted houses where it's a building that they that they put lights inside, but it's still you know considered to be some you know greenhouse product, but it's uh, it's called light assist because they have the lights come on when the sunlight is is not producing enough light. And it looks really close to indoor. I mean, uh, it tests high. Um, to me, you know, personally, I think it just doesn't have the the, the performance and the power like yeah. the indoor does. Okay. It has a lot of the traits of it, but it it just doesn't have that that Correct. staying power or that high like the indoor does. Uh, I agree. You know, I mean, I always say <clears throat> it's levels to everything, and uh, nothing wrong with mixed light. Not hating on mixed light, but. You know, charge accordingly for it or whatever. I feel like that or what have you. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have the staying power. I, I, I would say that. 
Um, it's always referred to weed and alcohol. You know what I mean? You know, it's like you know you got uh, your house brand, you know, right. alcohol, and then you know you got your top shelf, and there's somebody for everything. You know what I mean? I might dab both of them, but you know I'm a, I like my top shelf smoke. They're just who I am, and you know what I consume, and I like. You know, I like my indoor. I like right. my top shelf. Man. Now, what's that? What's that down there? Is that is that a syrup? Yeah, this is syrup. This is a it's our Pluto syrup. It's a full spectrum nanotech. It's our, it's our Delta Eight product right here. Listen, um, I guess I should have probably just like not went so heavy the first time I tried that. It just like knocked me out. Had you out? Yeah, and all it needed was a couple of caps or what have you, you know. And yeah, that happens to me one time. Yeah, and it works really fast, so that nanotechnology is real. You know, you really feel it like you're you're drinking now, infamous, and you no, know, seriously. Yeah. In a couple of minutes, you'll feel it. You'll feel it or whatever. But yeah, people really like it and stuff. Uh, I wish some of these guys just on the uh, on the drink, man. They need to Go ahead, they need to get this. off all of it. But right, see, right. At least this, at least this yeah, right. yeah, yeah, man. I messed around and took a hundred yeah. milligram one time, like like <laughs> not reading the bottle. Yeah. Lays you out. When in Las Vegas with this dude, trying he was trying to test like you know how much I could smoke, how, right. how how much my tolerance can be. Right, and you know what I'm saying it was in front of some people. So yeah, yeah, I, we'll do that. Not sometime. reading the bottle, I thought it was. I thought it said ten milligram. It said a hundred. Wow. And I look, I I drunk the whole thing. I was doing a photo shoot as we just talking shit. Mm-hmm. I canceled everything. I stopped. It was like yo, I can't, I can't do this photo shoot no more, yo. We gotta. We got to wow. cut. Yeah, you like, can. Oh, no, the, my, my, the rest of my day was fucked up. Like, I, I went to the hotel. I ain't wake up to, I got to the hotel by like six that evening. Right. And wake up to the next day. Wow. And a milligram I, took it. I've been through that before. Never you know, again. I, I respect, you know. Never any, again. Anything ingestible. I respect the ingestible guys. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah I do. That was just my little, you know, not list, not not reading the bottle yeah. story. Yeah, we'll have this thing at the <laughs> event right here. All yeah. this stuff. Yo, yeah. so listen, 420. Tell them the event and where it's at again. Uh, for twenty, uh, the session. It's the session. It's off Fulton Street. We'll post the address. I can't call out my head, my head, but you can go to uh, the session atl dot com. Uh, we got an Instagram for it as well. Um, session atl Instagram or what have you. So we posting links. You know, tickets on Eventbrite. It's gonna be fun. Like I said, it's a festival. It's spring. You know, it's you know April twentieth or whatever and. Yeah, it's four twenty, but you know it's gonna it's gonna go down. Food, drink, smoke, have a good time, music, live music, and yes. we're gonna play games. It's gonna be fun. We it definitely or well, the, the, the yeah. Smoke With Me podcast, we definitely gonna be in the building, um, supporting, you know what I'm saying? This is a dope event for Atlanta. Yeah. And we 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 are happy to be a part. And and listen, man, I'm happy you even came on our show. I know you don't do interviews. You came on our show and you know what I'm saying, you 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 held it down with us for at least an hour. Yeah. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's dope, man. You know, I want to support, bro. You know what I mean? You know, I want to support you. Definitely, man. Long time, man. No doubt. No doubt. All right. And so before we get out of here, um, I know uh, all the subscribers, you know, again, hit the button, click the like, subscribe. But um, I know it's one thing I want to leave everybody with before we get out of here. For uh, all upcoming brands and, and young, you know, African-American and black and brown people that want to get into the cannabis space, you know, what advice do you have for them to give out to everybody who's uh following the show and is a is a is a is a loyal follower to uh um uh, the gas house brand and you and kingston and the whole movement um i know you guys inspire a lot of people to um you know take a chance and, and do their thing so before we get out of here i know everybody would like to hear that i'm gonna say do your homework follow your dreams don't listen to people follow your dreams in your heart man ain't no roadmap to this shit it ain't no roadmap. You the roadmap. All right? That's what I want to say. That's game. Well, you know what it is. The boy DJ Infamous and my co-host and my partner. Wolf of Weed Street, episode five. Yes, episode five with our special guest CEO of Gas House, the founder, Felix Murray. Thank you for coming, my brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate, Man, I appreciate you. I appreciate y'all. And we out of here. Let's get it. Yeah.